If you think that I can't live without you, that means you don't know me well. You know you can't tell me nothing that way. I'm your big sister. What happened? <sighs> Come see. Baby. Come on, talk to mommy. Morning. Morning, sis. Wanna talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. Jason and I ended things. Okay, so he admitted he was cheating on you? Yes. And he made it look like it was my fault. <laughs> How is it your fault? Is he crazy? <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Matter of fact, he's moving mad. But I am moving forward. Yes, I'm moving on. <laughs> Wait, already? I thought what happens is when you break up, you, you know, think about it, reinvent yourself, and then before you try and move on, you know all those independent women then? Sis, what are you talking about? Uh-uh. Anybody got time for that? Let me preach to you soon. Life is too short. Shorter than my knickers. Eh? I'm not going to sit around and cry and wail and throw a pity party simply because a man couldn't keep it in his pants. No, sis. I'm single as a Pringle, and I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> so I guess you have your eyes on another. Oh, God, come <laughs> see. Sis, wait, see, there's this guy that just moved into our complex. My goodness, if you see him, proper hotness, light-skinned, tall, caramel lips, with a touch of pink, you know what I mean? That kind of kiss-me-quick lips. He's got... Fit abs, six packs, not one missing, tattoos everywhere. Oh, my complete spec. This guy was made like the kind of guy that's made once in 20 years. He's chiseled. Like God is God took his time to make him. Like, ah, oh gosh. Come to close your mouth before Fly finds their way into it. I can't even believe you're gushing over a guy in this manner. I'm not gushing. Who is gushing? I'm just expressing my innermost contemplation. Sis, please, I've spent enough time talking. I don't want to be late. He comes to work at exactly 9 a.m., goes for lunch 1 p.m., and gets off work 6 p.m. I do not want to be late. I will catch him in the morning or in the afternoon, or even if it's in the evening. Come see your chuku. Hmm? Just wait for me. I'm... Ah! Bad energy. Stay far away. Stay far away from me. Not today. Bye, love you, sis. Did she just call me bad energy? Ha! <sighs> oh my god, this girl. Um, good morning. How are you? Good morning, How are you now? Sir, are you leaving me so I can join you? I'm actually waiting for someone. Okay, okay, I see you now. <laughs> Hi. Hi. 
Good morning. Are you... Uh, what, why are you going to say I can drop you? I've been waiting for you. Today. Ah, yeah? Why won't I see him? I've seen him enough this week now. Going across town every time to see him. But am I complaining? Let him call me at least once to show that he understands the pain you go through to see him. Have I ever complained about this pain to you? Mm. Well, I am feeling the pain for you. Hey, thank you. But please stop feeling the pain for me. Eh? Make I rest. Okay, oh, you can go. But Mata, don't you dare get pregnant. Yeah. You've heard me, oh. <laughs> so this one I'm carrying is for both of us. I hear you. Bigger, bigger, bigger. I don't have this energy. But I don't drink. get pregnant. <laughs> See, how are you? Awesome, how are you? Great, great. You're leaving already? No, I'm just uh, going to grab lunch. I'm famished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes both of us. I'm uh, famished. You haven't had lunch yet? No, I haven't had breakfast, nothing. Okay, um, then maybe we should just do it together. Sure. Okay. All right, uh, after you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. and make yourself comfortable. So you're not going to offer me anything? Are you a stranger here? Better get yourself into the kitchen and 
I just want a drink, that's all. All the brands are there, so you can pick anything you want. Well, the good thing is, I have time. Okay, I came all the way just to see you. To see me? Mm -hmm. Like this? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Hmm. I must be very important. Well, you are my favorite person in the whole world. So really? stop acting like you don't know. Okay, if you say so. Anyway, so tell me, how does this thing work? As I said earlier, it's very complicated because it's a thing of numbers and my head cannot carry numbers now, okay? Oh, Vincent, just tell me. Or are you working on a deadline? Not really. Just that I just need to concentrate totally. Hmm? Okay, you want to work? Have this. Since you are jobless, so you want to work, right? Why did you say that? You will work. Just like this. Okay. So, I will be working on the numbers and then you will be replying it. Be checking it. We have right over here and you can continue from there. Okay. okay? You want to work right? I mean, as long as it keeps me here with you. <laughs> so, this just looks like jargons to me, to be okay. honest. So, um, look at it. So, you continue from here. Tell you, let me tell you the rest of the story and everything that happened at the restaurant. Okay. So I got into his car and then mm -hmm. we drove by my usual restaurant, you know, like where I eat on, you know, all day. I was like, ah, where is he taking me to? He just kept driving and then we pulled up to this really nice, expensive, exquisite restaurant. Hey, God. As we walked in like this, the music, romantic, the food, it was like the food was prepared with love oh, for me. Oh, Can't gosh. See, you are so lost. Sis, I'm not lost. I'm telling you the truth. Like, this is exactly what happened. Look, the food was yummy. Very tasty. Very expensive. You know, I told him I don't eat local dishes. <laughs> 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 so, like, I just got there and I was just looking into his eyes. Like, he has this really sexy eyeballs. Like, gosh. <sighs> okay, I hear you. So, was he looking into yours? Yeah, not really. I think he was a little shy. Like, he was trying to be cautious. You know now, it's just trying to be cautious. Did he tell you that? Hmm? Did he tell you that? Not really. It's, he's supposed to tell me that. It was our first date. There's no way he'd tell me that, but I could tell from his body language that he's so into me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... Nobody says that 
you know, people who are trying to start a relationship can be open to each other on the first date. You yeah. know, it all depends on how connected the both parties are to each other. That is what actually makes it natural for them to be open. Mm. Yes. So, so sis, what are you trying to say? That because he wasn't open to me on the first date, then we're not connecting. <sighs> Come so you know that's not what I mean. And then what do you mean? I don't understand. What do you mean? I'm just trying to say that there's no rule binding anything that makes a man not to be open on the first date. Because I'm sharing my experience with you and, and now you're ruining, like you're judging me. Okay. You're finding fault in my own moments. Okay. My experience. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not finding fault. I'm not judging you or any of that. Okay. I'm just listening and following up on your conversation. Fine, okay? I didn't know I wasn't allowed to say what I think or what I see. You've killed my vibe already. I'm not telling you any more of my gist. I'm just going to go into my room and think about my man. I'm so cute. <laughs> God save me from this girl. Yeah, work. Great. Thank great, you. Great, great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I forgot my keys in the office. My secretary is bringing it back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, <sighs> you're coming back late today. Yeah, I had to go somewhere. Oh. Oh. Yeah. See. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Yeah. Waiting for me or what? You didn't say I was waiting for a secretary to bring his key to me. Hmm? Of which I doubt if he actually has any secretary. I do think so. <sighs> Clearly, because not every guy in suit is a top executive. Mm -hmm. Especially those ones that carry girls all around town. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's see if you drink. So, why would you say he has mm -hmm. one if he doesn't? Are you defending him? How am I defending him? Look, I'm just trying to be rational. We don't like him, fine. But do not demonize the guy, Matter. Mm -mm. When did I demonize him? And why are you eating like a horse? I'm pretty I cannot see Matter. I am pregnant. Life is not easy on me. Well, I did not impregnate you, so stop ranting on me, I beg. Thank you very much. Let me turn the home ones. Okay. Have you considered how far his house is? There's nothing to consider. So what you're trying to say is you don't mind going 
the distance as often as possible if you guys finally start dating. Why are you terrified by the distance? Am I tracking? It's not like you're tracking, but you know. But nothing sis. I really like this guy. Okay, I know. Okay, I'm sorry. All I can think of right now is how I can make this relationship work and, you know, make sure he doesn't break up with me because I'm really tired of break up. I know. Okay, and this one will work. But first, I need you to find out if he really likes you. And if he's worth all this your stress, I can't have you jumping from one relationship to another like he's some sport exercise. Why are you trying to school me? You're acting like I'm a teenager. I'm not trying to school you, Kamsi Yochiko. I just need you to understand the fact that you've liked this guy way before he even noticed you. Okay? So I need you to understand that. And then you just left a relationship. Hello? Are you saying that I'm not being objective? Kind of. You're not being, I can't say you're not thinking shit, but you're not being objective. I need you to know if this is what you really need at the moment. I really like this guy. Have fun. I love you. I love you too. Love I'll you. be back home soon. <laughs> Thanks.
Mata, maybe you should try later. But I need to speak to him now. Vincent? Yes. What happened? Does anything have to happen for me to want to speak to him? I only ask the question. Um, I'm tired of this movie. It's kind of boring. Uh, okay, maybe it's the genre of movie. Uh, you know, I should, I should probably just, uh, you know, change. No, 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 no. Actually, um, I've seen two movies already. I didn't come here to see movies. I came so we could spend time together. But how come you're busy today? Yes. I can't spend time with you, and you're so busy. Um, hmm? so sorry, you know, just that I uh, just got work from the office and I need to deliver. Mm. It's funny, I actually don't know what you do, even though we work in the same complex. It's... Uh, I'm actually the sales and marketing manager in the, in the company. Mm. Okay. And you know you are. You're right. This is very rude. I shouldn't be spending time with you. So. <sighs> so tell me more about yourself. Well, there's nothing much to me. It's just uh, <laughs> I am the second born, family of four. Okay. Yeah. My parents are still alive. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you. That was, that was not much to me. <laughs> yeah. So, aren't you going to ask me about me? Yeah, I was just going to ask you that. So, you tell me about you. I mean, everything. Yes. Yeah. So I'm the third child of three children, and I have a BA in biochemistry. I have a certificate in data sciences and data analysis. I work with a software company, and we provide, you know, internet services, uh, security, and everything. And then my parents have been married for 45 years, and I love them so much. You know, I just, I love life. I love love. I'm actually single. And, um, you know, I think we should take it slow. You're not ready? I'm not Is ready. It? Um, yeah, um, probably a little too fast. So I'll just change this so we can go hang out. How about that? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know, good morning with violence. Why did you choose violence this morning? 
I didn't hear you come in. What time did you come in last night? I came in a little late, but... <laughs> did you sleep with this guy? Uh -uh. Sis, how did we go from good morning to did you sleep with this guy? Because ever since I said good morning to you, you've been smiling sheepishly. So, what happened? That's intrusive. You just want to know all about my business and my life. You're just asking questions. Sis, it's I'm too serious. early in the morning. I am serious. Out with it. I'm tired of you. Well, you still have to tell me. Come on. Fine. He kissed me. Oh my God, come see your chupu, you're such a slut. How are we even related? How is it my fault? This is the 21st century and he made the first move. He kissed me. <laughs> Look at the way you're saying it. Hey, the point is there was a kiss. It doesn't matter who planted the kiss. On your first date, come see. You don't know how to use the I'm not ready line. I did. If I didn't use the I'm not ready line, we would have gone all the way because he was on to me, girl. Oh, <laughs> may the Lord help you. <sighs> what do I need the Lord's help for? <gasps> Can't see. Like, you need, to, you need to take this thing slow. You have to be sure. I know, I know. Look, all that I need right now is for him to just... Ask me out and make it official. <laughs> you need to take things slow to make sure you are doing the right thing. Mm. Since you're talking to me like I'm a child. This is not about talking to you like a child or schooling you as you always say. I know when it comes to sexual relationship, it looks like all the plugs are in the right socket. I got this. No, it's not about you got this. Okay, you need to be sure, otherwise you're just opening yourself up to disappointment and a lot of pain. Hello, I'm the one with relationship experience here. Okay, you can check out my CV. I've dated guys. On the contrary, my dear sister, you have been single. So, professor of singlehood, what do you know? Just so you know, huh? The fact that we don't take transport to Damascus to go look for man does not mean that we don't know what is going around. Look, I would go miles for love. I would travel to the ends of the earth for love. But you, sis! You have to tell me something. I have one question for you. Please, please share. When are you going to get a boyfriend? Hey. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hey, um, can I get a minute with you? I don't want to be late to work. Oh well, yeah, I actually intend to drop you and bring you back. So you were waiting for me? Yes. Why? Come on, let's not do this. We've been living here for the past two years. You know how I feel about you. But Harry, I already told you that I'm seeing someone. But do you love him? You do not have the right to ask me that. Okay, look, we're having a conversation here. Right? If you love him, it shouldn't be hard for you to say you love him. It's not. Does I he lo love him. Does he love you too? You know what? I have to go now. Hey, come on. We'll just, come on. Just, just answer. Look, I do not know what kind of work it is that you do. But mine requires that I be at my desk in 25 minutes. Well, I'm a marketing manager. Uh, I'm not asking you to introduce yourself. It's not necessary, okay? Look, maybe you should just find someone to date, no matter how hard it is. And then maybe you would stop doing this thing that you're doing with me. Because I really do not enjoy it. Are you suggesting I can find a woman to date? <sighs> well, if it's that easy, go ahead and get one, okay? Have <laughs> to his 
yourselves. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi. Okay, um, let me just tidy up some work on my desk. I'll be with you downstairs. Sure. You're at the car. Okay, the car park. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, do you have any money in your life? No. I told you already. I'm single. Oh yeah, it's true. You, you did. I was just wondering why you, a gorgeous lady like you wouldn't have a man taking care of you. I just... I want what I want. <laughs> I haven't seen what I want yet. Hmm. So I think you're one of the, the hard to get kind of girls. No. I'm just um I'm one of those people who look for certain qualities in a man and you know. Make sure that the man qualifies to be her man. So, uh, do I qualify? Hmm? I mean, um, <laughs> am I one of the ones that you turn down? Um, I, I guess we'll never know until you ask me out one day. So let's go out. Hmm? Yeah, be my girlfriend. Are you joking right now? <laughs> so do you think, um, did you think we would know our goal as being friends? Um, I just, I thought you were going to take your time and, you know, do something extraordinary and just ask me out. <sighs> maybe you're right. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm just rushing things. I should probably just take my time. And, uh... What? No. I'd love to be your girlfriend. <laughs> I thought I was about to uh, lose out on that. No, I'm sorry. You're overdressed. <laughs> How am I overdressed? I mean, a simple t shirt and jeans have been better than this hot gown you're wearing. But it's not his house you are going to. So, you expect me to always be casually dressed whenever I'm going to his house? <laughs> well, you look like you're going on a mission. <laughs> Can you please leave me alone? Actually, you look like a seductress. 
What? <laughs> I'm just trying to be sincere. Okay, tell me, what is going through your mind right now? Mm. Hmm? How do you mean? Must I ask a simple question? Just answer. Well, I just want to get to him somehow. Mm -hmm. Some things need to break for us to fully enjoy each other. You see? You have a mission. Hmm. <laughs> Gosh, pregnancy is so annoying. <laughs> Don't you say that again, Mata? This is a journey you go through as well. So be respectful. Be respectful. <laughs> Something must be wrong with you. <laughs> okay, well, have fun. But my dear, stay away from his waist down. Take it from me. I would know. I should know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Noah, please. Eh? <laughs> I need to look for a way to sell you <laughs> so, so that you can, can leave me you. alone. I'm out of here, Peg. All right, have fun. I will. Bye. -a. So he took me to this fancy restaurant where it is this delicious meal. I was just looking at him like, my desserts, my snack. Oh, gosh. And then guess what? He now asks me to be his girlfriend. I was like, oh, my God. Are you serious? I couldn't even believe it. And guess what? What? He thought I wanted to take it easy with him. I was just forming a girl. <gasps> I was it Please be coming down, okay? Some of us don't have a boyfriend. Have mercy on us. It's not my fault that you're still single. Hmm? Don't blame me for your condition. So now I... Eh? <laughs> now I have a condition. Can this girl know? No condition is permanent. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm just happy he makes you this happy. I like him so much. And I hope he likes you too. Of course he likes me. He asked me to be his girlfriend. Of course, he had to. <sighs> what other sign do you need? He wants it to be written in the stars. No, he asked me to be his girlfriend. How else do I need to know that he's serious? So he wants to be serious with me. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. So, what am I meeting this tall, handsome, tattooed, comes in 9 a.m., blah, blah, blah. When am I meeting him? Relax. You meet him soon. Okay. <laughs> I need to meet him as soon as possible so I can use my adult eye to scan through him. If I hear. I know if he's what I need you. <laughs> you will not get boyfriend. You want to check till he see you. That's your Yo, how? How? Sis, how? Tell me how. I know my condition, okay? I Don't tell me. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. No condition is permanent. You are freshness, okay? I can smell him all over you. You reek of man. I smell my yummy boo. Oh, his perfume is oh, yummy. This and girl. Oh, he was just... <laughs> Happen. It happens in real life. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. What are you trying to tell me? You mean, if you distance yourself from a woman, she's going to give you attention? Are you trying to distance yourself from me? No. So that's a question. Let's adjunct. Anyways, but then again, it depends on the woman. If a woman likes a guy but is unable to make up her mind for whatever reason, maybe a past relationship or a past bad experience, if a guy gives such a woman space, she would definitely come around. What if she never comes around? 
then she was simply never considering the guy. Mm. I see. Mm -hmm. Women. Why did you ask though? I, nothing. Just that. Women. It fascinates me. Women? Mm. You know, it's been two years since I walked into your office. I remember perfectly well that beautiful day. You were so intelligent. Your determination, it's on another level. You're so focused to achieve positively. I remember from the moment you step into that office, everything that company God was positive, positive, positive. Our competitors, they're down, down below us now because of you. Really? Mm -hmm. And that aside, I remember that day. The way you looked at me, I remember that day. Your smile, your set of teeth. <laughs> You're so beautiful. And from that day, we clicked and we became bestie for life. Mm -hmm. Bestie for life. Did you just say bestie? Uh, yes, my bestie for life. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Vincent. Vincent. Don't you see? I love you. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. I'm so stupid. Order another one. I don't understand. Can you order now? I thought you have promo or something. But this one just cancelled. Let me try again. Oh, I can't afford to be late to deal. Let me see. Good morning. Good morning. Can you see? What? Did you just... That is only the game's ball. 
Chamsi. What? Did you did you notice what happened? What happened? <laughs> him. No. What happened to him? He greeted me instead of you. So? That is odd. Sis, do you really think Vincent is who I'll be worrying about this morning? I'm not asking you to worry about him. But usually, he will stand here and ask you like 25 questions. Or maybe, before he opens his mouth, you shut him up. You know all those dramas that I really like? Please, for me, it's good riddance to bad rubbish. Secondly, he's not even my type. How do you know he's not your type? I can smell it. <laughs> the way I say it, I think he's tired of trying so hard to get your attention or being nice to you. Sis, it's so early in the morning. I just want to focus. I have a ton of data to mine. Oh. And of course, I'm going to see my baby. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I can't see I'm tired of you. Be going. Go. Just go. Just go. It will be late with the way you're doing. Hey baby, how are you? <laughs> how I miss you so much, honey. Uh, I miss you, miss you, miss you. Oh, what are you cooking? That's why you're my angel. <laughs> um, okay, baby. I uh, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, just tell mom that I'll, I'll, I'll call her later, okay? All right, my angel. Bye. Is that your sister? Yeah, yeah, my, uh, my cute little, little, oh. little, little sister. I hope I get to speak to her or meet her someday. Yeah, you should. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, how are you? Uh, my girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend. That's my neighbor. <laughs> Maybe let's go inside, okay? Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that lady, she looks familiar. How do you mean? Um, I feel like I've seen her somewhere. I've seen her before. Maybe it's uh, I mean, one of the times you came here. I mean, she's my neighbor. She just lives here, so... No, 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 no. I've seen her at my place. I can't believe she comes all the way. Um, <laughs> what, what do you mean? Well, I've seen her at my place with this loser guy, Vincent. He's my neighbor. Oh, the guy is so boring. Um, you mean that she... Like to any relationship or something? I don't know. Quite frankly, I really don't care. <laughs> I just can't believe she comes all the way. Yeah. But speaking of which, I actually commit the same distance just to see you. Yeah, I mean, uh, and I, I appreciate, I appreciate that. <sighs> Guess what? What? My sister wants you to, you know, come visit, and she was wondering when you'd be coming. Oh, like she's giving me an ultimatum? No, she can't do that. I mean, we're just a year apart. But when are you coming? So you guys are like um, twins, right? Twins? Well, not really. The thing is, my mom found out she was mistakenly pregnant with me when my sister was three months old. So. Mistakenly? <laughs> Your dad is a bad boy.
Hey, Rita. Hey. Are you okay? I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Where are you going to? I'm going to the hospital. I'm feeling a little pain. So sorry. What about Marta? She's not in. Okay, so uh, can I drop you? No, don't worry. I'll just I'll get a taxi outside. I, I insist. Okay, let me drop you, please. Are you sure you don't have anything else to do? No, I'm free for the rest of the day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Do you know if um, Mata will come join you at the hospital? Well, I get it. I'll call. I'll get it first. Thank you. Thank you. So, what kind of relationship are we in? But you know the kind of relationship we're in. So tell me, what kind? What do you mean I should tell you what kind of relationship? Okay, are we in an exclusive or an open relationship? You are back to find it here? Which is the right thing to do. I hate labels. What is wrong with labels? They define what we have. Um, I think the chicken is ready. Let me get it. It's all right. Don't break my leg, right? Sorry. <laughs> my sexy beard. <beers. laughs> Guy Alpha, is everybody around? Oh, everybody's around now. Okay, perfect. All right, we are now. I'll come now. I'll come soon, okay? Going somewhere? Yes, my friends, they are waiting for me. I really need to catch up with them. Can I come? Uh, no, not today. Maybe next time, okay? So you're going to just leave me here? Let's go. Okay. You can spend the night here if you want to. You already know that I can't stay the night. My sister is pregnant and her pregnancy is complicated. The only reason she's in my house is so I can look after her. You know this. I've told you all of this thing. Okay. I understand. But I really need to run now. I promise you. Next week, I'm coming to see both you and your sister together. Okay? Let me run now. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're having a good time. Come. Came Me all Jewish. the way to see you. Mm -hmm. Took you so long. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lika. You ran into my my pregnant neighbor. You know, she's um she was in some discomfort. I had to take her to the okay. hospital. Okay. And spend some time with her. But now I'm back to you. Oh, you're so caring. You're sweet. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Oh well, I uh, would have to go back to her. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I can go with you. No, no. I'll help. Uh, no, I mean, it's, uh, you, were, you were saying something before I left. Yes, I was saying that, you know, I wanted to get some advice from you. Mm -hmm. I'm a little confused. I have a little dilemma, career dilemma. I want to make a career change, but mm -hmm. I'm scared. And I wanted to pick your brain. Yeah, pick my brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um... So, I'm thinking of going into business analytics, right? 
but I don't have a foundation in business. I don't really know much about business, but um, I was thinking that maybe I should, you know, do a, another course. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> your lips are just, um, you know, very beautiful and inviting. <laughs> wait, wait, don't kiss me like that because you will confuse me. <laughs> what I'm saying is maybe I'll just, you know, do the business. No, what I'm saying is maybe I'll get an MBA for a year, mm -hmm. which means that I wouldn't be working for that stretch. And then, you know, I'm already big on business analytics, like data analysis. Yeah. So, or maybe I should just go and do business analytics. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Look, baby, um, you know, you are, um, you know, you're a very, you're a very smart person and you know exactly what you are doing. I trust you, you know, go get it. Yeah. Babe, were you listening to me? Or oh, you just wanted to kiss my lips? <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> but... <laughs> But yes, um, I, I need to get back there and check up on her. I mean, you know, she's uh, she's heavy, she's pregnant. I'm going to, Wait, baby, I'm coming. I'll you see know, you you know, I'm not going to be here. Yeah, the whole weekend. Just make sure she's okay. You know, she had like a little pain and she was almost please hurry up, boy, yeah, because sure. I'm leaving soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. Just, you just left here a short while ago. Oh, yeah, I came back to make sure you're okay. I'm okay. You need to stop worrying about uh, me. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually worried. I mean, <laughs> uh, with this condition and you being alone, it's just right for me to be concerned. Yeah, okay. But my sister is on her way back. Oh, yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will just uh, stay and wait for her to come back <laughs> and take over. You know? Really? Yeah. I am okay, truly, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what the all say. Can I? Just have a sit. All right. Let me get us some biscuits while we wait. All right, fine. Okay.
course you have to talk about it. It's me, so out with it. It's just... There's something wrong with my relationship right now. What do you mean by something says off? So I went to spend some time with him you know, for us to bond and get to know each other. But whenever we're discussing, he just seems distant. And it feels like he's trying not to talk. I, I, I'm always the one doing all the talking. He's just very absent-minded and carried away. Do you think he's hiding anything from you? I don't think so. I really don't know. It's just, he's never forthcoming. He's not in the conversation. He's always finding a reason to to disappear. I'd be there. I mean, I went to spend some time with him. But he would just go off and start chatting with his neighbor, his pregnant neighbor. He has a pregnant neighbor. Yes. Okay, that's weird. I know, I thought the same thing too. Do you think he's responsible for the pregnancy? No, he's not. If he was, he wouldn't invite me to his house and I won't be allowed to go in and out as freely as I do. If she was pregnant for him, she would be in his house. Mm. Or there could be no pregnant neighbor. I don't know, even if there is or there isn't. The fact is that I go all the way to spend time with him and he doesn't value me. I don't even know what to do right now. I've been waiting for him to call. So what are your thoughts? What do you want to do about it? It's our first misunderstanding and there are no perfect relationships, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking I'll just let this one slide and come see your chuko. You know you don't have to be in this relationship, right? I know you like him so much and all, but if it's not worth it, you have every right to walk. I'm looking to walk away from this relationship. I'll make you walk. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. I'll pray for you. Take that frown off your face. You're too beautiful to frown. When we're Come here. Together, Come here. I always get this mm. Harry is a stupid and person. I, I know. But I love not you. stupid though. Okay. Silly if he doesn't see you. wide open for you. I want to be your muse, to be close to you, don't you see, don't you see, I want to be your muse, to be close to you, don't you see. How are you? I'm oh, fine. You went to the market alone? Oh, no, no, no. I went with Matt Sabo for good body table. Ah, so hey. she went back for. Ah. Let me get this. <laughs> well, you look like you're going somewhere. Don't let yeah, me delay you. I, I'm going somewhere, but um, it's okay just to get some few things. I can do that later. Come, me... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. Okay. <sighs> Okay, she's uh, she's she's fine. Yeah, your sister told me to to um 
get myself a girlfriend and leave her alone. So there you go. Yeah. Sister. I do, but I mean, she she has a boyfriend. Mm. Mm -hmm. She does. I wish them the best. Mm. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, of course I do. Okay, you said so. Yeah. Okay, so no, I no, can't it's, take... it's okay. Uh, let me let me let me cry inside for you. Come. Thank you so much. Ah. Ah. I can't believe you are carrying this all by yourself. Um, I'm pregnant, can I I'm not. Take this to the kitchen? Yes, please, thank you. Right, thank you so much. That's fine, it's okay. <laughs> um, somebody is knocking. <sighs> I told you the woman that sells this lip just on the next street. <sighs> yeah, so I dropped on the location. It helped me with the bag, it was, it was quite heavy. Hi, how are you? Hi. Yeah. Um, I'll be in my place. Okay. All right. Thank you Bye. so much. Bye. <laughs> what exactly do you think you're doing? How? You know I'm in a relationship. Why do you keep letting him come here? Martha, is his coming here going to force you out of your relationship? Hmm? I'm sure you saw me today. So, so, there's no problem. Look, he needs to stop coming here. The two times he's been here was because he was helping me out. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> Always there when you need him, huh? You're very lucky, my friend. You're very lucky. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll think you don't want me to finish it. Ah, Even if you're not interested, can't you at least try and be cordial with this guy? Eh? Besides, I have the right to have my friends come visit me. Have I ever stopped you from having friends over? Very good then. Harry is my friend. So you can come check on me whenever he wants and you don't get to be unfriendly to him. You know what, Mita? Do whatever it is that you want. Just make sure that you keep him out of my face. Mm, Mata. the fact that I haven't come to your place yet. Come on. I come here multiple times a week. The best you have done is meet me halfway. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, if you want me to move into your house, if you want me to even move into your bedroom, I, would, I will, but everything takes time. Huh? relationship a joke to you. What does that even mean? I come all the way from across town to see you multiple times a week. It's never convenient for you to visit. You've never been to my house. You don't even know where I live. You don't call if I don't call. If I don't come here, you will never see me and it doesn't bother you. What kind of relationship is this? The best you will do is, oh baby, I'll pay for your cab, I'll pay for your cab, let me know how much is the same your account. Oh, yeah, like, I, I think that's the problem. I, I, are you really trying to make me pay for your cab and issue here? Babe, are you... I, I see that you put in a lot of financial effort every time you come here, and I'm just trying to support. I don't need that kind of support. I want you to get into your car 
and drive to my house. I want to open the door to see your face. I want to see you standing there like you love me, like you came to visit me, like you miss me. Please stop. I'm not in the mood for this. Wait. Okay, okay, babe. I'm gonna come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, amen. Stop, okay? Stop stomping. And tell me exactly what is the problem. I'm stomping. And you? Well then, tell me exactly what you would do if you were in my shoes. I would speak. I would talk. That's exactly what I would do. Fine. Fine then. Let's talk. What kind of introduction was that? Maybe you would have told me how to introduce you to my friends. After all these months, you still need to ask me. You asked me to take you out to go hang out with my friends. That's because I thought you would help me know and connect with you better. And I obliged. And now, introduction of you. It's turned into something else. What do you really want? My biggest issue with this is that you don't seem to know exactly what it is that you've done. You called me your good friend. I've been in an exclusive relationship with you for months now. And you, you casually refer to me as your good friend. Do you even have an idea how that makes me feel? One of your friends was asking me out when you stepped out to get us a drink. That's how exposed you left me. I went out with you as your girlfriend. But you treated me like some nice girl that just likes to hang around. Kamsi, you need to stop crying and decide what you need to do. You've been so unhappy lately. Says, how am I supposed to be happy? When the man that I love is so distant, he's always absent. I don't know what else to do. It's okay. I know you're hurt. It's, I don't know, but it's fine. I just... I just want him to love me and want me as much as I want him. It's enough, okay? I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Just stay. I come here. <laughs> well, you can actually see. Okay, let's see. Oh. okay, so bye. No, no. So you come on. <laughs> so what's soya? Yeah. So you what? So So you being. So you no. something. So you something. <laughs> what happens? Like I'm so sad. I'm asking you what happened. Um, hi. Well, I'm just sad. That's it. Um, you know you can actually just join us. 
We're having so much fun with the game. So cheer you up. No, thank you. Let's continue, she'll be fine. Okay, so, um, Harry, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I'll just play right. She will be fine. <laughs> Look at you. Okay, so, what happened? You changed this thing. You changed it. No, I. So, <laughs> okay, hold on. I have this, I have this, I have this. Um, go here. Okay, so. Carry me the go. Carry me the go, my husband house. Carry me the go. Carry me the go, my husband house. Carry me the go. I did not know we have resumed the usual Saturday cleanings. No, we haven't resumed. Just. <laughs> but it's Saturday and you're cleaning. Yes, I'm expecting a guest. <laughs> hmm. Harry. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> I'm really interested in this conversation. So tell me how you're going to make someone who hasn't taken the initiative to come to know where you live to come to this house? That's for me to know and for you not to care. Oh. Well, okay. Whatever makes you this good and turns you into a potential wife material, I am game for it. I am out. Where are you going to? As you can see, my darling sister, I am going out on a date. Since when? What date? Okay, let me use your phrase. It is for me to know and for you not to care. Mm. Do Love you. Wow. Okay. Hello, Harry. How are you? Baby, I'm not fine. I've been, I've been feeling feverish through the night. And I was wondering if you could come over because my sister Edna is not around. And I really need you right now. Uh, okay. Um, all right. I, I'm, I'm coming. Okay, baby. See you soon. <laughs> carry me they go oh daddy carry me they go my husband house carry me they go carry me they go my husband house i got to cook <laughs> um yes thank you thank you so much for your order thank you so much um, the special is on his way to you. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so I appreciate your feedback. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay, when you say, okay, thank you so much. I appreciate. Please continue to refer your friends, please. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'll. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
how she feels. She's okay. She's sleeping, and the baby is doing well too. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Is everything okay? Um, I'm just happy she's better now. But I have to be here till she feels better, so I can take her home. So, when would that be? Mm, the doctor said tomorrow. I think they need to watch her all through the night or something like that. All right, so um, let me go get food for us then. Us? Yeah, I'm waiting with you. I mean, it's going to be a long wait. Don't you have something to do or somewhere to be? Something? Well, a something to do and somewhere to be can wait. You are so kind. And you're so good to my sister. Oh, she's your sister. Well, since we're both hungry and she's still sleeping, can we go find a nice restaurant to eat at? <laughs> yeah, sure. But my heart's wide open. It's wide open for you. I want to be your muse. To be close to you, don't you see? Don't you see? I want to be your muse. To be close to you, don't you see? together I always get this feeling and when I see you it's like I'm barely breathing I don't know why but my heart's wide open it's wide open for you came up something that has to do with life and death. His phone his phone has been switched off. Do you think he's hurt? He switched off on me. Oh my darling. I'm so sorry come here. Sorry. I know you put in a lot of effort today. Sorry, okay. I'm sorry. I want to be your muse to be close to you. Don't you see? Don't you see? I want to be your muse to be close to you. Don't you see?
Thank you so much for all your help from yesterday to today, especially. Yeah. Oh no, we were here to eat. I don't mind. All right then. Thank you. Hello? What happened? Are you kidding me right now? I needed you. I thought my sister was dying in my arms and I really needed you to be there. I called you. You said you were going to be here, but you did not. I waited for you all night to show up. Oh, Vincent, this is not fair. This is not fair. I needed my boyfriend to be there and hold my hands, but you were not there. What kind of stupid excuse is that? You know what? Today is not the day I let anything get to me. Okay? My sister is home now and she's fine. Everything is better. Okay? Later. When we're together, I always get this feeling. When I see you, it's like I'm barely breathing I don't know why, but my heart's wide open It's wide open for you mm. I want to be your muse To be close to you Don't you see? I want to be your muse To be close to you Don't you see? How am I feeling? That question is just an afterthought. 
You don't really care how I feel. Honestly, I do care. Mm. I was actually heading straight to your place when I, I got a call, you know, from my, my neighbor and... The pregnant one? Yes, the very heavily pregnant one. Nice. Babe, look, I... You really don't care about our relationship, do you? Why, why would you say a thing like that? Why did you ask me out? Why do you keep pretending like you're in love with me? Why? Oh, we made love, yes. Was it the sex? Is that all I am to you? Just to satisfy a certain crave or scratch a certain itch? Is that all? No, no need to explain. I'll make it very easy for you. I'm done. I'm done with this charade of a relationship. I'm setting you free. I was never in bondage. Oh yes, you were. Because you've been acting like you're, you're in bondage or you're enslaved in this relationship. Like someone is forcing you to be accountable to me. I can't do this anymore. Okay? I'm just... I'm going to choose my sanity. I'm going to choose me. I don't know what is going on with you, your neighbor, the pregnant. I don't care. This is not going to work. I can't deal with your inconsistency. Are you... You breaking up with me? I already broke up with you. You only just get in the mood. Don't you see? I want to be your muse to be close to you. Don't you see? Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. I just got home actually. I will definitely call you back, okay? Uh, uh, okay. Hold on, please. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Hi. Leave me alone. Are you okay? Why don't you just leave me alone and mind your damn business? Uh, can I be of help? And when I see you, it's like I'm barely breathing. I don't know why, but my heart's wide open. It's wide open for you. Mm -hmm. oh, I want to be amused, to be close to you. Don't you see? Don't you see? I want to be amused, to be. Make sure that you're fine. Do you always ask so many questions? Do you know how annoying your questions are? Come. I'm just checking on you. And if I'm asking too many questions, probably maybe because you have not answered any yet. Please. What really happened to you yesterday? Well, what 
to me. I was loving someone. I was too late in my love to be between the lines or see the red flags. I was, I was doing everything to hold on to my relationship, but he wasn't doing it back. I was doing the most to keep the relationship afloat while I'm grieving my own heart. Love should never be one sided. So I ended it. Now you know. Don't you see? <sighs> 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 Together, I always get this feeling. And when I see you, it's like I'm barely breathing. I don't know why, but my heart's What exactly is wrong with you? My God, we need to talk. Then why didn't you come to me with? that talk since it's obviously very important from the look on your face. to stop causing me pain is to break up with me. Are you even listening to yourself right now? Mata. I've done everything for this relationship to work. But my heart belongs to someone else. You need to believe me. Please. I've done everything. Everything to love you. But my heart refuses to see you. When we're together, I always get this feeling. When I see you, it's like I'm barely breathing. I don't know why. But my heart's wide open. It's wide open. I want to be your muse. To be close to you. Don't you see? Never come here. I'm not to do this. That's him, sir. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> 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 I, I, I can't.
don't worry, don't worry. You can go. I know what's going on. Eh? Thank you. 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 Thank
I'll be quiet all through. And you don't have to pay for the ride. Hi. Hi. I brought this for you. I still have the one you sent this morning. My dear, you can have as much as you can if it's chocolate. Especially when you're in this mood. I remember very well. Anytime my sister is in a bad mood, she eats a lot of chocolates. And that brightens her. I'm not your sister. Thank God you are not. Because the way I have feelings for you, if I do have such feelings for my sister, that would be a crime. Please have it. Thank you. box of chocolate. Is this guy crazy or something? Is he mad? Uh -uh. He's just trying to make you a sweetheart. What the hell is going on? Really? A month's supply of chocolate. Day and night. Are you trying to give me a cardiovascular disease? No. These are dark chocolates. They are good for the heart. So said that these prevent heart disease. So they are good for you. Do you work in a chocolate factory? Can you go out with me tomorrow evening? If that's what's going to stop you from filling up my house with chocolate, then write me a note with all the details in one of your love letters. I 
don't know why, but my heart's wide open. It's wide open for you. I want to be your muse, to be close to you, don't you see? Don't you see? I want to be your muse, to be close to you, don't you see? Over here. Aren't you tired of taking me to work just yet? I doubt I ever will. Let's go. When we're together, I always get this feeling. And when I see you, it's like I'm barely breathing. I don't know why, but my heart's wide open. It's wide open for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to be a mute, to be close to you. Don't you see? Don't you see? I want to be a Get to the hospital. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Okay. Sorry, how's your recurring? Yes. No! I just have to summon courage and tell you how much I really do love you. Okay. I love you very much. And I want you to be mine. Please. Please. I will die. I will commit suicide. No, no, you don't have to do all of that. You just need to promise Shh. me. Just tell no me. No games. No cheating. 
to be honest, to be faithful. I promise, I promise you. <laughs> no games, no cheating. Honesty, hundred percent. Are you even real? <laughs> <laughs> I am real. I promise you. Mm -hmm. When we're together, I always get this feeling. And when I see you, it's like I'm barely breathing. I don't know why. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just relax, okay? Well, I'm almost there, okay? Just, just take it easy. Thank you so much for always being there. My pleasure. Okay. I'm going to slap somebody if you don't stop the dance and move this car. Woo! Oh, it's coming! Sorry. It's coming! Oh my god, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry, just breathe, okay? Okay. Yeah. Why are you doing all of this for us? What what is it exactly that you want? Be my girlfriend. When we're together, I always sad. Yes, yes, just that. Just be my girlfriend. I want you in my life. Just be my be my girl. Okay then. Okay, like okay. That's a yes. Like, okay. <laughs> Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm so so sorry. Sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's okay. Sorry. Marisa, don't worry. My girlfriend is right here. She'll take oh, care of you. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a strong you girl. Stop smiling. You better stop smiling. <laughs> my baby's not gonna be scared. Oh my god, I'm not scared. I'm so close to you. Sorry. Don't you see? Don't you want me like I do? Don't want me like I do. 